RSL, AAD, XRW, FF, FS. Skydiving has a lot of abbreviation. What are they? What do they mean? Let's find out in this video. Hey there, this is Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become a better skydiver. So if you're new here, consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos all about skydiving. All right, so some new skydivers asked me what are some abbreviations in skydiving, and I wanted to clarify them with you in this video. I've found multiple already, but anytime if you think about another one, just let me know in the comments section. To make it easier, I've categorized them into three specific categories, skydiving gear, skydiving disciplines, and others. So let's start with the skydiving gear, RSL. RSL stands for Reserve Static Line, and it's a safety system that goes on your rig to make sure that when you release your main canopy, it pulls the reserve pin. AAD is an automatic activation device. It's a little computer that you have in your rig that cuts the reserve ripcord if you're still falling at a specific height of around 800 feet. So if you have no working canopy above your head, the computer will cut the reserve ripcord and the reserve will pop out. So this little computer is called an AAD. BOC. BOC stands for bottom of container. And we often talk about the BOC pouch, which is the pouch where the pallet chute stands. MARD. It stands for main assisted reserve deployment. It's another safety system coupled with an RSL that will use the main canopy as a super pallet chute to extract the reserve canopy. And so to conclude this skydiving gear abbreviation section, I wanted to let you know that I did a full video explaining the RSL and the MARD systems. And so you can watch it by clicking right here. Thinking about another abbreviation concerning skydiving gear, let me know down there. Skydiving disciplines, FS. FS stands for formation skydiving, and it's used every time that two and more skydivers are doing formations in the sky. RW. RW stands for relative work. This is the way we used to say formation skydiving before. FF. FF stands for free fly, which is a discipline where we fly in any other position than belly to earth. And you'll find a video about getting started in free flying right there. VFS stands for vertical formation skydiving. So we mean flying in groups, doing formations in the sky, but in any other orientation than belly to earth. So it's coupling free fly with formation skydiving. CRW stands for canopy relative work, and we're starting to hear canopy formation skydiving, which are actually formations under canopy. WS is for wingsuit. CP stands for Canopy Piloting, a discipline that is gaining in popularity due to the swoop. We sometimes hear HNP or we see it written, so HNP means hop and pop. This is usually a jump where you open your canopy right out of the plane, whether it's in high altitude or we can also do hop and pops at 5,000 feet. IAD stands for Instructor Assisted Deployment. As you know, when you want to start your skydiver formation, they will ask you to do a first jump, whether in tandem or if possible, you can do an IAD, an Instructor Assisted Deployment. HALO. H-A-L-O stands for High Altitude, Low Opening. So skydivers are used to jump at about 13,000, sometimes 16,000 feet. But if we go even higher than that, we call that a halo jump. And you might already have seen those skydivers jumping with oxygen. It's because it's too high for them to breathe. Then an interesting one, XRW. It's a pretty new term in skydiving, and it's when a canopy pilot under canopy do a formation with a wingsuiter. So that's very interesting. Here are some of my friends attempting it. Cool, eh? All right, so this leads us to the other category, AFF. AFF stands for Accelerated Free Fall Course. This is the skydiver formation that you're most likely will be doing when you want to become a skydiver. It's a course that has about 10 jumps, allowing you to develop your free fall skills and land safely. TI stands for Tandem Instructor. He's the guy or girl jumping with you when you do a tandem. VT. 
VT stands for Video Tandem and it's most likely the guy jumping with a camera on his head to film your tandem jump. DZ. DZ is very commonly used, it stands for Drop Zone and it's your second hole. WL is interesting, it means Wing Loading. This is used every time we talk about canopies and the weight underneath them. So if you want to know the wing load of your canopy, simply divide your weight, all geared up, by the square foot of your canopy. This has an impact on the performance of your canopy and the way you're piloting it. I will end on a term that we don't like to see around or say, and it's BSBD. This is when we lose a skydiver friend, a skydiving family member, and it stands for blue skies, black death. All right, so there you have it, some abbreviations that we use in skydiving. I hope you've learned something. If so, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you know one that I've missed so that I can learn too. Also consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos all about skydiving. On that, keep jumping, stay safe and blue skies.